Hi everyone, this is Krishna Vandanapu, a Power Apps Super User. Welcome to my channel. We are doing Power Apps Functions Zero to Hero series. We are on part three of that series. In this video, I would like to cover four ifs to improve our Power Apps. They are if to perform a simple if condition and bulk delete using remove if, bulk update using update if, and handle exception using if error. Let's go ahead and see how we can use each and every function, how it is going to improve our Power Apps. Okay, let's add the data source, which is SharePoint data source. I'm using the same SharePoint list, which we have used as part of our series two, which is student information, which we have more than 15,000 records because as part of this series, we would like to cover bulk updates, bulk deletes. So I just wanted to ensure that our data is more than 10,000 records here. Now, the first if I want to cover is simple if statement. The business scenario for this if statement is I have the data where my state is Alabama and local education agency is Alabaster City but user want to update the is active or qualified column if the number of valid test takers is more than 10. I repeat, the business scenario is if the state is Alabama and local education agency is Alabaster City, user want to update qualified column as yes if number of valid test takers is more than 10. Okay, using if how we could achieve this is on button on select event. First, we need to create a collection. Taking time into consideration, I have created the formula. I'm using the same formula here. In this formula, what I'm doing is first, I'm creating a collection, collection students. Here, I am first filtering Alabama, and local education agency as Alabaster City. But I am renaming the ID to student ID. I'll tell you why I'm doing it. Because when we are updating this, I need to perform a patch using in the in patch. I need the ID to be compared. So if I had to do this operation using simple if I need to iterate through the collection. So that will be like this. Here I am saying that if number of valid test takers is greater than 10, I am updating the student information list with the qualified value as S. Okay, let us see how it will work. When I click on that if condition, it is just progressing and if I go back and my, refresh my list, all the entries where number of valid test takers is greater than 10 has been updated with the qualified value as S. Yes. But if you notice, in order to update that simple qualified column, I need to write this much of code. How I can do bulk update of this kind of a scenario using out of the box bulk update statement, which is nothing but update if. Now I want to achieve the same requirement using update if. Now my requirement is I wanted to update all the Alabama state with the local education agency Alabaster city. Now let's achieve this by qualified status to no. Before we write the code, let us see what is the syntax of update if as per Microsoft. So update if syntax is update if data source and the condition followed by change record values, which means that when we see the typical or classic example, what they were uh, explaining here is in update if ice cream is the data source. And if the quantity is 175 greater than 175, in this example, Update if data source is ice cream, quantity is greater than 175, they want to increase the quantity by 10. And when they run this against this data source, 
what happens is vanilla strawberry will be rise to 210 and 330 because they both are quantity greater than 175 so now we are also what we are trying to do is if my number of valid test takers is greater than 10 i wanted to quali uh, update the qualify qualified column to no let us see how we can impl implement that update if my data source followed by the condition what is the condition we wanted to implement here is i wanted to implement the state as alabama and local education group education agency as alabaster city and number of valid test takers is greater than 10 then what i wanted to do is i want to update my column qualified with no since qualified is a choice i have to give the syntax as value Now, if I format this, what I'm doing is, this is the data source. Under data source, this is my condition. Under this condition, what I'm trying to do is, I'm up trying to update the column, update uh, column with value. No, let us see how it works. If I go back and refresh my data source, all the data has been updated to no. If you notice that the same thing we have implemented using if, but the code for if is this much. What I'm doing, I'm creating a collection, doing a for all, but if I ha had to implement the same logic using if, update if, my code is very simple one line statement. So what I'm trying to say here is using update if, I can improve my Power Apps performance immensely. So wherever you see that, with one condition if i need to update more than one record always try to use update if rather than looping through all the record set with for all and anything and the next if statement is remove if as per our practice let us see the syntax of remove if before we dive into the similar to update if remove if function also looks like this remove if data source followed by condition that's all we don't have to give any value because we wanted to remove the records from the data source if you see here the very same as the ice cream example what uh, microsoft was trying to say as part of this blog now they want to remove all the records where the quantity is greater than 150 if they run this statement against this data source the vanilla and strawberry will go off because vanilla is 200 and strawberry is 300 now let us implement the same logic in our example remove if data source is student information followed by now very same condition i just wanted to use just to see how quickly it is gonna implement it is gonna work now i am what i'm trying to do here state as alabama local education agency name as alabaster city alabaster city and number of valid test takers is greater than 10 i want to get rid of all those records from my data source let us see how long it will take job done when i come here and refresh all those entries are out of my list so if i have to do this using a simple if statement again i have to iterate through all my lists and remove 
remove, 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 remove. So rather than doing that, I can use remove if one line, I can delete bulk number of records from my data source. And the last function as part of this video is if error. If error is part of exception handling in Power Apps. I have covered various scenarios as part of exception handling in my other video. I'm adding the video link as part of the description. If you really want to see, just go and watch that video. I have covered four to five scenarios of exception handling, various exceptions as part of Power Apps and how to handle this. As part of this video, I wanted to cover one more time how we can do if error. The business case for this if error is Maker always try to implement patch on the data source. But if Maker forgot to mention the default columns as part of the patch, the end user will never see what is the issue unless that is handled properly. Let us see what example, what is that means. Now I wanted to add new record with the state as Alabama. Now, if I go and see my title is a mandatory field, but intentionally I have not given title and let us see how it will work. I don't see any error, neither it won't increase my number of records count in my data source because I have missed to give my mandatory column. When I come here, it then shows that hey boss title is a mandatory field you missed that but if i publish this app and end user run this app they will never be able to see that how we can handle that is before we dive into the code as for our practice let us see the syntax if you see that if error followed by what operation we want to perform and if the operation is failed what you want to do if 1 by x is not giving any value it will be 0 and here if the patch in this example patch ds1 if then what and if we complete that if statement if error statement patch ds1 all the parameters of the patch and notify problem in first action which means that if this patch has some error exception it will notify that patch has an exception on first action and again second action the beauty here with the if error is i can perform more than one operation as part of that and if there are no issues with all these things as a default value i will return true let us implement this functionality this function in our scenario if error i am just doing the same thing if error then notify adding record failed now if i format this what i'm trying to do is if this patch is failed i'm going to inform the end user as adding record failed if not i will say notify this is my default value now go ahead and see what it shows adding record failed because i have not provided my mandatory title column now go ahead and specify title as kvn now if i go ahead and say that add it successfully this is how we can ensure that my function or my patch is added successfully and user is also notified properly if error is very important function especially when we are patching on a larger data sets and if i go ahead and refresh my site content 987 i got one more record added this is how we can ensure that my perform my power app is performant and it is give, it is very interactive to the end user with all these three different if statement and if is all always good if the
condition is very simple. If it is going to be more than one operation, I always suggest you to use update if remove if. If you like this video, do like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for all future video notifications. Here is my contact. I'm highly available on Twitter and LinkedIn. I can respond immediately on Twitter. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day.